Hi, Lou. Yeah, because remember, Nuri Martinez is out and she was council president. So just moments ago, they voted for a new council president, Paul Krikorian, chosen unanimously by his colleagues on the council as the new president. And he addressed the meeting just a short time ago. Take a listen. I will advance tangible steps to ensure that the power of the council president is reduced, not increased. Uh, the era of unilateral decision making on this council and consolidating power, that ends today. It comes as the council is trying to get back to business today, 10 days since the scandal broke, where leaked audio revealed racist remarks made in a private meeting where three city council members were attending. Now, one of them, Martinez, has resigned, but Gil Cedillo and Kevin De Leon are still holding out, and demonstrators say they will keep turning out here until they are gone. Dozens of protesters marching at City Hall today as the council convened its meeting virtually. The primary message is that Kevin De Leon and Gil Cedillo must step down. And to the rest of the council trying to get back to business, Black Lives Matter LA co founder says they should not be meeting with Kevin De Leon and Gil Cedillo still on the council and the people locked out. The meeting virtual, city officials say, because of recent COVID exposures among council members. The embattled Cedillo and De Leon not there, but during hours of public comment, they were a major focus. Kevin De Leon and Gil Cedillo should resign immediately. The fact that they haven't resigned yet is already an embarrassment. The fact that the President of the United States had to chime in on this is an embarrassment. Council Amends de Leon, um, it's ultimately your decision, but we ask that you do not resign. You've done so much for the community of El Torino. Four people were in that private meeting last year where the audio has now leaked. Former Council President Nuri Martinez and former Labor Leader Ron Herrera have now resigned. Martinez made the comments drawing the most outrage. All have apologized. These union members and leaders at City Hall today, part of the chorus saying all four need to go. The resignation, yes, that's an automatic for us. But let's get to the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is, is that we have some serious issues in this city. And unless we start having the conversation about race, it's going to continue to happen. One council member announcing a youth city council this month will hold a virtual session to allow space for such conversations, aiming to tear down divisive attitudes on display in that leaked recording. We must all renounce it and make sure that we have a path forward for the people of Los Angeles. And it starts now and it starts here with the young people of our city. The LAUSD superintendent standing with the youth leaders speaking out in the wake of the scandal. Silence is not an option. Those who embrace it are embracing a position that is tantamount to complicity. And that virtual youth city council session that uh, con or that um, Councilwoman Rodriguez talked about, that is set for October 27th. Now, Mayor Garcetti just weighed in on Paul Krikorian being named the new council president, calling him someone who can bring a smart, collaborative, and effective approach to a painful moment when Angelinos deserve steady leadership on this city council. That's the very latest live here at City Hall in downtown LA. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.